Hello guys, this is FusionForge and in this video we will be making a snail cam in Autrip. This is going to be the final video of the cam series. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure that you're in the same document as you were for the all of the past cams. And then make sure that your variable studio has the exact same names and values as right here. If all of that is true, go back to the snail cam and then go to this variable table right here. Click on it and you should get variable studio and then snail cam. Under snail cam for names, write down D4, enter, D5, D6, D7, D8. Now this is just going to make our lives a bit more easier. For the value of D4, we want it to be DIA. The value of D5, we want it to be DIA divided by two. The value of D6, we want it to be parentheses, hashtag D5, plus, in parentheses, hashtag D4, minus, hashtag D5, then, multiply it by a value of 0 0.25, divided by 2. What you should get is 0 0.625. As the result. Now double click on this so that I can highlight all of it, copy it, and then paste it into D7 and D8. The only change for these variables is you're going to change 0.25 for D8 to 0.75 and for D7 you want to change it to just 0.5. These should be the values and then confirm. Now, start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. Use Shift 5 to go to the top view. Press C and then start a circle using the origin. Back upwards. Press D as we have been doing. Dimension the circle to have a diameter of HIVIA. Zoom in. Draw another circle. This one should have a diameter of HIVIA divided by 2. Now that we've done this, all we need to do is press Shift S again to get the point option and then draw five points. So make sure that you're vertically constrained to the origin. Select the inner circle, making sure that the point is coincidentally constrained to it and vertically constrained to the origin and do the same exact thing with the outer circle right here. Now that you've done this, draw two circles that are horizontally constrained to the origin and then a last one that is vertically constrained. Now press D, mention the left one from the origin, it should be a value of D6. Now origin from the bottom it should be a value of D7. From the origin to the right should be a value of D8. Now that you've done all of this, press D for a three-point arc, select this point right here, and then select this point, making sure that the arc is towards the circle. Confirm. Now draw similar arcs all around here, not caring about their dimensions, just caring about the way that they're pointed. Now that you've done this, press P for tangent constraint. Apply the tangent constraint to this arc and make it tangent to this circle. Now, selecting this arc, select this arc, and then just keep going till you have this perfect spiral, spiral pattern. Now press L line and then connect both of these points using a line. Let's escape and then change this circle construction using Q. Press C again using Q to disable construction and then making a circle with a diameter of axial dia. Now that you've done all of this, confirm your sketch. Press Shift E extrude, extrude the snail shape, press shift 7, go into an isometric field, 
the depth, we want it to be thickness, and then confirm. This was making a snail cam in Onchain. Please remember to like and subscribe, and remember to comment down below if you have any suggestions. Have a good day.